In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can make your data input a lot quicker by using forms in Excel. So what exactly do I mean by this? Well, if you take a look at the worksheet, we just have a small data set just here that lists out some invoice data. So in column B, we have the invoice date. We then have an invoice number, the client that the invoice belongs to, the amount on the invoice and the status. So whether it's late or if it's been paid. Now, it might be that it's my job each week to update this invoice list. So as we send out new invoices, I want to add more invoices to the bottom just here. Now, I could, of course, just go to the bottom cell and start to type in the record, or I could use a form. And sometimes using a form makes this entire process a lot quicker because it allows you to move between records efficiently. It allows you to add new records really quickly, and you can also delete records super fast as well. Now, if you're hunting around on any of these ribbons up here looking for the forms button, then unfortunately you're not going to find it because forms is an, a command that's on a ribbon by default. So we need to add it. And the easiest way to do this is to add it to the quick access toolbar. So if we go to our QAT, click the drop down just here to open up the customize menu, and we're going to go straight down to more commands. This is going to jump us across to Excel options and to the quick access toolbar page. Now from here, we can choose how we want to sort our commands. So currently I'm only showing popular commands in the list below. Now, in general, I tend to switch this to all commands so that I know that I'm seeing everything that's available to me. And these commands are organized alphabetically, which makes it a little bit easier to find. So we're looking for the forms command. So I'm going to scroll down to where we have all of our F's and there it is just there form. Let's select it and we're going to click add to add it to our QAT. When we click on OK, we should see it now sitting up here. Now, before we click on this form button, I would always advise you to put your data into an Excel table. So let's press Control T. Yes, my table has headers. Let's click on OK. And you can see I'm getting the default formatting. Now, you can change that from the table styles drop down if you want to. This isn't a necessary step. You can just leave it as it is. But in general, I usually change the default. I'm going to change it to this one just here. Dark green table style medium 18. And of course, then if you go to the table design ribbon in table style options, you have some choices with regards to if you want banded rows turned off or on. Now, I have mine turned on currently. If I deselect this checkbox, it's going to turn those banded rows off. Now, why do we use banded rows? Well, a lot of the time it makes it a lot easier to read across the record. So I'm going to leave mine on. So we've got our data in a table. We have our forms button ready to go. Let's use it. So let's click on it and check out what happens. We get this useful little form, which has picked up all of the column headings in our data set, and we can see them listed out here. We also then have a group of commands that we can use. So if I wanted to enter a new invoice to the bottom here, I can simply click the new button and I can type in the invoice date. So let's go for 1, 15, 20, 24. Invoice number is IMV-1028. Tab. Client is client 15. Tab. Let's say the amount is $200 and the status will say that that is late. And you can see as soon as we click on the new button, it adds that new record into the table. It also leaves the form dialog box open so you can then just quickly jump to the next one and add another new record if you want to. And that's really all there is to using forms to input data. As I said, this can make your data entry a lot quicker and it's a great efficiency tip to know. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.